Hello everyone, and welcome back to another exciting episode of my Pokémon Platinum Let's Play. I am Magnificent Entertainer, Bulbagarden Forum's Head Administrator. Still a little weird for me to be saying that. Anyway, in the last episode, we took on the Battle Castle and had two complete successful streaks of seven in that facility. Um, Unlike with the Battle Factory, the Battle Tower, and the Battle Arcade, I am recording this, like, right after that episode, so I did not do any off-screen, um, any off-screen, uh, runs in that, so I could still technically go back and try to get a third one, but I'm not really feeling it. Uh, in this episode, of course, we are taking on the final facility here in the Battle Frontier, the Battle Hall. Let each Pokémon seek number one. Now this is a weird facility. Of course, they've all got their own little gimmick. Um, this one, though, instead of having streaks of, of uh, seven, you actually have streaks of ten, I believe, and... Wait, why are there three of you? Who are you? Oh. I see. I see, right, so in this case, and so in this case it's, it's streaks of ten, um... Yeah, streaks of ten, I believe your Pokémon remains the same. Um... But, in, in this particular case, so let's actually take a look at the records, although I don't think I'm actually going to see... Yeah, so I, d I don't have anything yet, uh, but this one, you only enter one Pokémon, you battle ten times, and this time, and, and they don't take your, your hold item from you, which is good. So this, I think, is exactly what Porygon with that choice band, or sorry, with that choice specs was made for. So let's talk to this guy, or this person. Well, I suppose you could do this as a double battle too, but either way, it's it's one Pokemon or two Pokemon. So we'll enter Porygon. And you can see it's just one Pokemon. And the way that this works is you're going to be given a board. And on that board, it'll show a type, right? And you can you can go to a lot of different locations, or different locations, and you can choose which tile you want to go to on the board based on type. So, you know, for example, a Pokemon like Porygon Z would show up as a, uh, as a normal type, but a Pokemon like... Uh, Punguin could show up as a water type or a steel type. Mascarose could show up as a grass type or a poison type. Juniper could show up as a bug or a fighting type. Splurb could show up as a ground or a flying type. Grim could show up as a dark or a ghost type, etc. So I can choose any type, right? And it's rank one. So what I can do, you know, I, I can choose a type based on what I feel like I've got advantages over. So, for example, Grass, I can attack with Ice-type moves. Uh, normal, I can attack with Normal-type moves. Fighting is the type that I don't want to go against, uh, but I do technically have a Psychic-type move to deal with that if I have to. Uh, electric is also a type I don't have anything in particular that I'm advantageous against. So I'm going to start by choosing... See, if I choose water, it could end up being water ground. I'm going to choose ground for my first type, because I've got Ice Beam to deal with that. And you'll see, these are one-on-one -on -one battles. So I've got one Pokémon, they've got one Pokémon, which again, makes the choice specs perfect for this. Now you see she's got a swine up, right? So that's a ground ice or an ice ground type. So my original strategy of using ice beam for super effective damage isn't going to work, but I've still got try attack which I can use. Also, is that thing level 45? That thing is level 45. Why is that thing level 45? I thought they said that it was automatically adjusted to my level. Well, I am in no trouble here whatsoever. 
Okay, well, that was incredibly easy. And they do heal up your Pokémon in between battles, so that's good. Uh, I don't remember who the Hall Matron is. Now, I can go for ground again, and I'd get what's called a Rank 2. Uh, so every time you, you use a specific type, you see that it goes up a rank. I'm going to go for Grass here. I think that's a, a decent option. And you do have to get 10 wins in a row. And I love how this guy who's got a grass type said something about friendship being fruitful. Got a Turtwig, so I can use Ice Beam on that, and level 46. This is going to be much easier than I thought. Like, honestly, I'm steamrolling this with a level 70 Porygon Z. Um, I was wondering if I'd be able to get in two runs of this one, because it's 10, and... But yeah, I mean, th th this is going to be easier, I believe. So, should be fine. Maybe I'll even get in three. Uh, I oh yeah, Argenta is the hall mat matron for this, I believe. Or, or that's something like her name. Um, let's see. Fine, I'll go for a water type. What do you got? Even if this one's got a water ground type, ice type hits it for neutral damage, so does normal. So I'm not worried about that, and it's a Finneon. I... <laughs> Level 46. I, I don't get it. Like, I'm, I'm just going to crush everything in my path. I thought they said that the level... It, and if, if you're wondering why I'm so confused about this, the battle hall was... The, 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 the facilities that I frequented the most in this would be the um, the Battle Factory and the Battle Tower. I had done all of these facilities at one point a long time ago, uh, you know, when I first saw the Battle Frontier. Um, and I'm just gonna... I'm gonna keep going. Like, this, this is just easy. I, I'm not even... All right, let's do, let's do a poison type. Even if it's a poison dark type, I've still got uh, normal type moves. Like honestly, this is this is no trouble at all. And Spinarak. Okay, Psychic will work on that. Like I might even be able to have done this even if they weren't healing my Pokemon. And you can see I think it's level 47. So maybe getting slightly more difficult, but still, this is just pathetic. Anyway, uh, I did not practice the Battle Frontier because I want, even in my, my most recent practice file for this Let's Play, and the reason for that is I wanted to be surprised, but well, I say surprised by it, I wanted to be, um, surprised isn't the right word. Uh, steel is the last type that I want. We'll go for a fellow normal type. Um, I, I want it to be... I, I, I'm, again, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good word for it, but I, I, I didn't want... Ah. I wanted my... I, I... I guess surprise is going to be the best word that I can think of. I, I wanted to be surprised by the facilities and, you know, not go into it remembering everything about it and, and everything about how they worked and all of that, just because the TM wasn't worthless. You just never even got a chance to attack. Um... Let's go dragon. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I wanted to, to come at this and, and not know everything that was going to happen in advance. So, you know, again, I, I looked at it. You know, I remembered the battle tower. I remembered most of the battle factory just because, you know, that's... The, the ones that I spent the most time with. I, I remembered most of the Battle Arcade, too. 
Uh, except apparently where the heck the button was to push. Uh, no, it was not that big red shiny button on the bottom screen. What are you talking about? That that wasn't obvious in the slightest. Uh, but yeah, I mean... And then here's battle number seven. Let's go for flying. I should try to do, like, a level two just because. Um... But I, I do believe this is in streaks of 10, so... Oh, look, a Zubat. I've actually got three things that I can do against that. Uh, I'll do Thunderbolt, because it's got the most PP, even though it really doesn't matter, because they keep healing me up after every single one of these. Um, so yeah, I just... I, I wanted to go into these with a, a fresh mind and without remembering every little detail. Because, uh, you know, things like the, the Battleground and things like the Gym Battles and the Elite Four Battles and the Legendary Battles, I actually do research on to make sure that I get all the teams right and all of that stuff. So you can see we actually do have a, a battle number eight now, and I'm going to be a little gutsy, right? I'm going to go for a level two or a rank two ground type, just because I feel like it. See what a rank two has to offer could end up being a ground steel type, which would not be great. But, let's see. Oh no, dig... That's a rank 2, and it's only level 50. I mean, it's going to be fast, but I'm 20... Yeah, I'm 20 levels higher, and fully evolved. That's a rank 2. Forget about it. Yeah. Well... It's, it, didn't, it doesn't leave holes in your bank account. They don't charge anything for the challenge, and you don't lose money. I'm not gaining any money from this. Ah, uh, what do I want to do now? It's a good question. You know what? I'm feeling gutsy. Let's try the ground, uh, the, the rank three ground type. Just because. An avalanche of... That sounds more like an ice type than a ground type, but sure, you say that, buddy. Ah, Doug Trio. Level 52. Fast but frail. Also 18 levels lower than me, but it does get a hit. And that was a critical hit, and that's going to be the only thing that it gets. So, good on you, Doug Trio. You actually managed to damage Pori Gone. I'm still not threatened. <laughs> yeah, you're done. In fact, the avalanche would have been bad for your Pokemon. Now, what was that? Was that 9 or 10? Okay, that was 9. And this should be the last one for this round. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? Uh, good question. You know what? Give me a level 2 dragon type. Dragons can be dangerous. Let's do something challenging, or slightly more challenging, for my last battle. I can't even see your cape in the overworld, bud. But I can see it there, and it looks pretty good. Dratini. Slightly higher level. Alright, I would have thought Bagon would be better, but... We'll just Ice Beam that. And yeah, that should be, uh... Wow. Okay. Again, I thought I'd be battling Pokemon of the same level as me. And yeah, rip you. That takes care of that. And no, I would not. Hooray, I'm awarded one battle point. Huzzah! I don't actually know if the amount of BP that you get increases if you take on more higher level Pokemon, but... Let's keep going. And for this one, by the way, if you want a win streak, it's got to be the same Pokemon over and over again. So that actually took so short, I might even do three for this one. But let's see. 
I don't remember when Argenta shows up, uh, the, the hall matron, but <laughs> this, this is much, much, I, I swear I was not saving this one for last because I remembered it was the easiest. Uh, I, I honestly did this exactly the way I did it for exactly the reason that I said. I wanted to go with the battle tower first because it was the same as the previous one. Um, as, as the previous battle tower. Uh, and I wanted to go with uh, the battle factory next just because it was um, it was the most similar to another facility from the previous generation. Not quite the same. Anyway, you could see that the board remained exactly the same uh, as it was for the end of my last battle. So technically, oh, well, that was an easier one than the Glamio, because hey, look at this. I got a Thunderbolt with your name on it. Uh, yeah, so, so it, it will get more and more difficult as you go along. The Pokemon will become a higher level. The Pokemon will become... Um, the, the Pokemon will become more fully evolved. So, you know, that's certainly something. But they'll keep doing this in increments of battles of 10 battles. And again, it will change... Let me actually go for a fire type. Why not? Um, yeah, it will actually change... Wait, what was that? I don't even remember what I was saying. Anyway, Chimchar, huh? Well, Chimchar is a plain old fire type, not a fire fighting type. We'll try attack that back into the Triassic era. I wasn't even trying on that one. Oh well, doesn't matter. Down goes Chimchar. And I believe the Hall Matron will have a different Pokemon on her team. I, th I think she and, and uh, Thornton are the two ones that don't have consistent Pokemon on their team. I could be wrong. Um, I really should have done a little bit more research on this. Anyway, let's up the ante on the grass types. I'm feeling a grass type. There's no grass steel type in this. Steel is, is really the, the, the type that I worry about the most here. Technically, I can hit uh, steel types with a... Um, what's it called? With a thunderbolt. Most of them I can hit neutrally for a thunderbolt. Or if you get something like Empoleon, I can hit that super effectively with the thunderbolt. But you've always got the chance for Magnezone. And Magnezone... I've got nothing on Porygon that'll do any good. Um, and I've got nothing... Well, I, I shouldn't say I've got nothing against ground or steel ground types, because I do still have Ice Beam, which will hit for neutral damage. Most of those have... Um, continue. And we'll go for an Ice type, sure. Uh, but yeah, most of the—I mean, the most steel types have higher defense than special defense. And hey, the the level one ground type and the level one ice type are the same. They were both swine ups, and this one actually has ice shard that it's using. So hooray! It's bypassing speed to do a little bit of chip damage. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. But yeah, again, this, this, I can see Porygon Z going pretty far in this. Uh, you know, obviously, if it encounters the wrong type of Pokemon, like a Magnezone, it's not going to be good. Because Magnezone is a slightly more specially defensive Steel type, and the best that I've got against that would be Ice Beam, Psychic, or Tri Attack, all of which are resisted a single time. Actually, I think Thunderbolt is only resisted a single time, too. But they're all completely resisted. Uh, you know what? We'll do Psychic. Psychic is fun. 
And I don't know why this little kid is 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 coming out with a psychic type. You'd think that this one would be with an electric type. Also, um, you saw a lady where oh well, I mean even so, that's a, that's that's not what I expected from you. But that makes my life easy because there's a thunderbolt. Yeah, you know, right now we're we're KOing everything in in one shot, and I. You know, I suspect even if the levels get higher, even if the uh, the Pokemon become tougher, uh, you know, I, I don't foresee this as being a, a problem at least for a while. Just because, I mean, again, Porygon Z is outputting at 150 percent power right now with that. Um, what's it called? With that choice specs. So, you know, I, 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 I'm I, not in any trouble with these low-level Pokemon, and even higher-level Pokemon aren't going to do too much. And there's an Ice Beam for you. Like, I probably don't even have to hit these things with super effective moves, but honestly, that's one of the reasons why I've got Porygon out front, is because I can hit so many things with super effective moves. And again, that, that raw power with the choice specs. And it's it's perfect for this type of environment. It really is. Like, if I wanted to choice band Heracross, this would also be a good place for Heracross. But Heracross would be doomed against flying types. Porygon at least only has the one weakness. Uh, let's go for a ghost type. Those are always fun. There's no Ghost Steel type as of this generation. There should have been as of the next generation. Cuthagragus would have made a very good Ghost Steel type. Uh, as it stands, Agislash and its family. Oh god, Shedinja. Bug Ghost Wonder Guard. I can't win this. I can't win this. Well, there goes my record. Oh, Choice Specs only allows use of... Th yeah, I'm doomed. None of my attacks would have done anything. And this thing is just going to chop me down with that X-Scissor. Oh well. When you get knocked down, get back up and try again. Oh man, that was terrible. Look, Bug, I can't hurt you, so please just use your axe scissor. Ugh. Just finish this off already. This is painful. So I do have to be careful with the Bug and Ghost, because I don't have anything that's super effective against either of those. How, how the heck is this a level 1 Ghost type? Like, I'd consider this to be a much higher level ghost type than just level 1. I was thinking here something like Duskull or, um, or, or, uh, what's it called? I mean, yeah, it's only got 1 HP, but dear god. Yeah, that was bad. New. No. That was horrible. So, let's say we actually not end on this defeat. And I will just go at it again with Porygon because I need to avenge myself. That should not have been a level 1 ghost type. I'm sorry. Again, I, I kind of understand where they're coming from because this thing you know, only has one HP, but that Wonder Guard ability makes it very difficult. I mean, that's like literally the counter to my strategy. Anyway, I think we start completely over now. So, the board is back to normal. I will be avoiding Ghost, and I will probably be avoiding Bug as well, so we're going to start with Ground and just build ourselves from the ground up. 
I'll see if I can't get two challenges, two full challenges in here. Because it still hasn't even been half an hour yet. It's 25 minutes. Bell toy, that's fine. I don't care. Also, I love how I was talking smack about how Porygon Z was, like, the perfect choice here. And that trainer had, like, the one Pokemon that completely shuts Porygon Z down. I mean, it may be worth getting something like Toxic on Porygon Z just for that situation, but as long as I avoid Bug and Ghost, there shouldn't be any reason that Shedinja ever pops up. And the only reason I was even going for Ghost in the first place was because I wanted a more wide variety of types to battle. But I'll just stick to the types that I know aren't going to be too dangerous, which is the vast majority of types. Like, that Wonder Guard Shedinja is... Um, it, it, I, I, I can't see... That and, and Magnazone, I guess, are the two Pokémon that can probably shut Porygon Z down, or at least KO Porygon Z, before Porygon Z can take them out. I mean, in, in Shedinja's case, there's literally nothing I can do. I could theoretically swap out one of Porygon Z's moves for something like Toxic. I think I said that already, but... It's not worth it, and it's not something that I'd want on Porygon Z for, like, any real reason in most circumstances. So, let's just go through, let's just battle, let's get up to 20 consecutive wins, and all will be fine. And it's, you know, again, we're, we're back to dealing with these low-level... And even that Shedinja was level 51. So it was still 19 levels lower than... But good lord, that was just... That was really rotten luck. And again, I don't see why or how that's considered a rank 1 ghost type. That just makes no sense. Again, I was thinking something like Duskull would be a good level 1 ghost type. Uh, what do I want? Let's do a dragon type again. Just keep going, keep battling. It'll be fine, and this guy with his cape again. Or is it the same guy? Yeah, it's Harold again, with his Dratini. Which means that the Dratini and the Bagon are like completely interchangeable as far as their levels go. Or their, their ranks go. Which... maybe makes sense? I have no idea, I don't care. At this point, I'm pretty much just mashing A. Which, I suppose, who are A, but, uh... Yeah, let's, let's just keep going. We're only halfway through. We're actually not even halfway through. Uh, go for the normal type. Normal type should be safe. Like, it's mostly just regular normal types, a normal flying type, or a normal, uh, water type if B-Barrel shows up. Oh, look, a Meowth. I'm not worried about any Meowth. Just gonna clobber that with Tri-Attack. So yeah, this is, uh, the Battle Hall. And theoretically, unless something really stupid happens, I should be able to get two wins fairly... I, how was that fun? You didn't get to do anything. And it was over, like, really quickly. Alright, well, if you have fun getting your butt kicked, that's your decision, I suppose. Uh, let's go for the water type. I want to do that, because I can. Please don't hold back. Fine, I will not hold back. Whatever your water type is, unless it's part ground type, we'll have a Thunderbolt coming right at it. Yeah, see, I everything else that was level 1 is like a low-level, unevolved Pokémon. And Ghost, for whatever reason, they, they popped out a frickin' Shedinja, and I'm like, What? What? Why? How? 
I mean, I, I love the idea. Oh, now you're saying you wish that I had held back. Well, too bad. Uh, but I, I love the idea of Shedinja. 1 HP, you know, it's it's the, the splintered part, the, the left behind part, you know, the, the, the old dead skin of a cicada. Which again, it's, it's an interesting concept for a Pokemon. But, wait, is this Tuber got a... Th this... Oh wait, this is a ninja. Fine, I can't tell the difference between ninjas and tubers. Anyway, you know, I, I love the idea. It's, it's very, very frail, only has one HP. But you can you can hit it, but, but you can only hit it with moves that are super fast. I love the idea of Shedinja. It's certainly an underrated Pokemon. Um, and I'm not going to say that I'm ever going to use a Shedinja on my team, even if I were to do a Bug-type or a Ghost-type Mono Let's Play, but... Um, it's, it's certainly something. Uh, and it, it certainly also fulfills a different niche than Ninjask does. Uh, go for the poison type. And the little kid in the Pikachu outfit. Bathing is for the... <laughs> Ew! Um, yeah, gulping. Okay, that's... I, I can stomach that. Use a Psychic. Take that thing out. Make it go bye-bye. Come on, come on. That critical hit. Lovely. I did not need that critical hit, but okay. There's Alice. No, 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 I won't take... Kid, you need a bath! Sheesh. Alright, battle number nine. And I'm feeling just fine. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to... You know what? I'll go for an ice type. I don't think that there's any dangerous ice types. Yeah, th there shouldn't be any dangerous ice types. Snow run. Yeah, that's not a dangerous ice type. It, again, these these might have something like Ice Shard, but well, if it does, it's not even using it. But yeah, I mean, it, I, I can't hit it super effectively, but I can hit it. And I can hit it hard for non-resisted damage. And again, in the case of, like, everything except for Shedinja, that's perfectly fine. Ugh. Alright, wait. Was that Battle 9, or was that Battle... Okay, that was Battle 9. Uh, hmm. Psychic should be relatively safe. You transgressor, hold still, I say. Okay? I'm not sure what I'm transgressing, but sure. Ah, a Meditite. Well, I'm just gonna clobber that with a try attack. No need to do anything else, because everything else would just do neutral damage anyway, and try attack's gonna do more between adaptability and stab. Here we go. Now, I could also consider putting Hyper Beam on Porygon Z, uh, and, you know, using that instead of try attack for this particular challenge. Even then, um, I don't think it's a great idea because just in case it doesn't KO something, I'd rather have the, the two, um, what's it called? The, the, the two try attacks at my disposal, each of which are boosted uh, by adaptability, by the choice specs, and cumulatively will do more damage than a single hyper beam. Anyway, we do have time. Uh, it's only been about 35 minutes. So we're going to try one more challenge, get an actual fully done second challenge in here, and leave it at that, I think. Because unlike the Battle Factory, there's, like, no brainer on this one.
and in we go and this is yeah again th this is kind of what I had in mind um, as far as Porygon Z goes let's do a level 3 or sorry a level 2 normal type normal types are good I've got a great one and nobody will be mad if you go home. I won't be mad if you go home, because that means that I'll, uh, th th that I've won. Ooh, ditto. That's a very interesting one. Fortunately, I don't actually care. But you can see it transformed into Porygon Z here. And it's not holding the choice spec, so its moves already won't do as much damage. And it doesn't have my HP stat, so congratulations, it, it did something, but all it did was transform into the, the Pokemon that defeated it. That's an interesting rank 2 Pokemon. Anyway, let's continue. And we'll go for a rank 2 ground type. Let's do that. I, again, I, I really feel like some of these rankings are fairly arbitrary, but... Jogger Steve, stand true. Okay. I wonder if the ranking is based on level or actual... I mean, I guess it's based on both, but... Like, seriously, that... that should... I, I, I'm not going to get over this, by the way. And I don't think that I should have to, because that was just completely unreasonable to expect that as a level one. Oh well, whatever. I'm just gonna not make the same mistake again. If I don't choose Ghost and I don't choose Bug, there's no way that can come back to haunt me. Literally, because it's a part Ghost type. Let's do a level two Flying type. No free deals, and I'll get a full course. Okay. I guess it is time for me to do some coursework. Swablu, eh? Well, that's perfectly fine by me. That's a normal flying type, despite its evolution, so a Thunderbolt will clobber that. And even if it was evolved, I've got Ice Beam. <sighs> yeah. I'm not going to say Porygon Z has all its bases covered, because very clearly, as we saw earlier in this video, it does not. But it's got a ton of bases covered, and as far as, you know, all of the Pokémon that I have on my team, it's probably got the most bases covered. So I can actually go around and, and click on most of these with relative safety just because I've got moves that are either super effective or should hit neutrally. And a neutral hit from Porygon Z with that choice spec is still going to do a ton of damage. So, you know, I said before I wasn't worried I got Shedinjud. Um, I'm still not worried. Again, Shedinja is a very easy Pokemon to specifically avoid. Just avoid the Bug type, avoid the Ghost type. Magnezone is an easy Pokemon to avoid. Avoid Electric type, avoid Steel type. Uh, there's nothing else that particularly um, that particularly concerns me. I mean, Ice Ghost. I can still hit neutrally with. Um, What's it called? I can still hit it neutrally with, uh... uh I can still hit Ice Ghost neutrally with Psychic or with Thunderbolt. So, that's certainly something. Pro plus, the only Ice Ghost is, is Frostlass, and it would have to set up its own... Ooh, Lotad. Uh, it would have to set up its own hail, so it won't automatically come out in hail. So I'm not even worried about a frost lass. Alright. So you can see that low tad might have been unexpected if you were looking to hit that grass type with an ice type move, but even then Porygon Z was fine. 
Alright, what to go for now? Let's do a level 2 dragon, or a rank 2 dragon. Dragons I don't want to get too high up because you get particularly powerful, and it's you again. Every single time I do a dragon, it's you. Alright, well... Was that also the level 1 dragon? Okay. As you were. Frozen in ice. Anyway, that should take care of this guy. I don't even remember what battle number I'm on. It just gets a little tedious. And your cape keeps ripping. You'd think that you'd have fixed that by now, but whatever, bud. And yes, yes, fully restore Porygon Z. We'll continue. Uh, no. Rock. You know what? Watch how this comes back and bites me somehow that I wasn't expecting. Like, I, I can't imagine how, but again, I didn't even imagine uh, Shedinja, so... Bonsly. Okay. I mean, I can hit that neutrally with plenty of stuff, so I'm not worried. Yeah, there we go. Rock types aren't immune to, nor do they resist electric moves. There you go. Oh yeah. So Okay, so you weren't saying that this is leaving holes in your bank account, you're saying your archaeological expeditions. Yes, I suppose that makes more sense. Ah, battle number eight. Fine. Let's see. Could go for a dark type. Sure. Let's go for a dark type. And suddenly we'll find that I lose for some weird reason. I don't know, even a ghost dark type like Grim doesn't worry me, because again, I can hit that neutrally with at least two attacks. Hey, Hound Hour! That's a nice Pokémon. I approve of your choice, even if I'm gonna knock that out with a try attack which reminds me, I could actually go for a fire type next. Keeping my levels sort of low across the board. Yeah, Roughneck Rodney. There we go. Take care of that thing. Well, that Pokemon, I should say. Alright, battle number nine, and everything is on the line. You know, a level one fighting type probably wouldn't be too painful, but I'm going to go for a fire type instead, just because I feel like it. Let's see what we got. Your Pokemon are a cut apart from usual. Do they know cut? Because if they don't know cut, that's a very bad thing that you're saying. Was the level 1 fire type a Nummel also? I feel like it was. I mean, I guess the level is increasing, but... You know, that's that's still... Not, uh... Not a threat. So... Good for you, Errol. Rendered harmless without even being able to attack. Congratulations. Alright, battle number 10. What do I want to do for battle number 10? Ah, heck, let's make things slightly interesting and go for a fighting type. Can theoretically do super effective damage, but... Let's see. Maybe doing this as the 10th battle was stupid, because I think the levels kind of automatically go up anyway, but... Yeah, Mankey. Mankey is a fast one. But, apparently not fast enough, and Mankey is also relatively frail, so that should take care of that. And I critical, so that's even better. Here we go. No, you did not! Porygon Z is a better Pokémon than Mankey. Certainly more a collectible Pokémon. No, I would not. And I get 1 BP. Hooray! Again, all that fanfare for, like, nothing. 
and that takes care of that. And now if we take a look over here, we can see Porygon Z is on a challenge now, so I can see Porygon Z has a current win streak of 20 with the previous win streak of 20. Uh, and if I were to keep going, I would have that streak be even higher. But I think that's going to be it for this particular episode. I know it's not quite as long as some of the other Battle Frontier episodes, but I got in three and a half challenges. Um, I wish they were all in a row, uh, as far as the, the whole ones, but uh, unfortunately I lost to that Shedinja, and I will not get over that because that was extremely stupid. Um, Anyway, if you liked this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and please be sure to check out our public Discord server, our forums, and our social media channels, all of which are linked in the description below. I'm done with the battle frontier. Uh, that's it for this, uh, you know, for, for this little section. I did want to show off each facility and the unique types of battles that they uh, bring to the table. I suppose, before I sign out for the day, I could give my final thoughts on the Battle Frontier as a whole. Um, personally, I like this iteration of the Battle Frontier better than the one in Pokemon Emerald. There are a couple of reasons for that. Uh, first and foremost, um, there's no Battle Palace here. The Battle Palace was extremely annoying. Uh, I can't afford any of these TMs. Hooray. Uh, <laughs> um, can I afford... I mean, I'm sure I can afford things from here. Um, the question is, are any of them worth it? No. Nope. Anyway, uh, like I was saying... Uh, the Battle Palace was just kind of horrible. I... You know what? Let's buy a Scratch-Off card. Sure. I'll take three Scratch-Off cards. Select card number one. We'll go for the blue one. We'll go for the green one. And we'll go for the pink one. Because I feel like it. Start card number one. Let's do some scratching. Oh. Well, that's terrible. Okay, what do I do? I forget that I only get to scratch off three of them. Okay, so there's a that thing. Let's try... That's a Ditto. Ditto can act as anything. So that's good. Now I need to find a third... Uh, what's it called? A third... Cherubi. Uh, let's see... Nope, I failed. I could have gone right underneath it or right next to it. Here's card number three. Ah, Chingling. Hello, Chingling. That looks like a ditto. That's not what I want. But unfortunately, it's not going to let me scratch anywhere else. Boo! Oh well. You know what? Let's try that again because I kind of feel like it. <laughs> uh, we'll go for three blue ones this time. Alright. Chingling! Badoo. And already I failed. And what do we got here? Mantike. Hooray! <laughs> if I could find a Ditto in the first one, that would be glorious. Oh, there's a Chingling. There's a Badoo, so I failed again. I love failing. There's another Chingling, so at least I got two of a kind. Alright, Mantike. 
and Mantike. Wait, are these things in the same position on every card? No. There's the Badoo ruining my day yet again. Which is a shame, because Badoo usually doesn't ruin my day since I've got Rose right. Anyway, I was talking about my thoughts on the, the different facilities. So, the Battle Tower, again, it's exactly the same as like in, is in any game that's got a Battle Tower. It's fine, it's bog standard, it works, and I do like the idea of the Frontier Brain being your rival's father. The Battle Factory, I think, is a little bit more interesting in this particular iteration. Uh, and again, I do think it compares favorably to the Battle Factory from the previous generation. I personally like Nolan better as a factory head, but, uh, oh well. Um, the Battle Arcade is a lot more fun than I remember, and I will have to go back there and challenge Dahlia again for a rematch. Uh, I believe that I have a decent chance of winning, but, uh... That's another thing for off-screen. Uh, Battle Arcade, I believe, does compare favor favorably, in my mind, to the Battle Pike, which was your luck-based... Um, your luck-based... Uh, well, one of your luck-based... Um, your your luck-based challenge for the, ba for the Emerald Battle Frontier. Um, the Battle Castle is great... Uh, it's certainly an interesting idea for a challenge, and it's certainly uh, a, an improvement over the Battle Palace, and I'm only comparing them because it's a castle versus a palace. Um, you know, the Battle Palace technically was fairly luck-based, so, you know, that is what it is. Uh, technically, I suppose you can also kind of sort of compare it to the Battle Pyramid, but you're not actually scaling levels. Uh, the, the Battle Pyramid was a difficult challenge and was actually kind of annoying. Um, and then the Battle Hall over here is... I mean, it's, it's the easiest of all of them, at least from what I've experienced. And honestly, it's still a lot of fun, and I suppose it's a quick way to earn BP if you ever wanted to get an infinite amount of them scratcher cards. Uh, but, with that, I'm pretty much done here on the battle front here. It's, it was a nice run. It was a good run. Um, you actually did get to see me lose on screen twice now, uh, as I kind of suspected would happen. I'm actually surprised that it didn't happen at the battle tower, but, uh, yeah, that was, uh, it, it's been a blast. I really do like the Battle Frontier. I wish it will come, you know, I, I wish something like this will come back in, in a future game. And if the rumors about the upcoming Pokemon 2021 game is true, and it's a Sinnoh remake, I will be very annoyed and disappointed if they don't have the full Battle Frontier. I know... As far as these particular games go, as far as remakes of games with Battle Frontiers go, we're we're 0 and 1 at this point, or 0 for 1 for this point, uh, because Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire surprisingly took after Ruby and Sapphire and did not have what? Okay. Um, Ru yeah, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire took after Ruby and Sapphire, and thus they did not have their their region's battle frontier. I hope that they correct that mistake with the uh, with the Sinnoh remakes, but I'm also wouldn't be surprised if they did not correct that mistake, and if we end up with uh, more of a Diamond and Pearl post game. In any case, I've rambled on for long enough. I do like the Battle Frontier. I like this iteration of the Battle Frontier better than the previous generation's Battle Frontier. But it's 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 challenging. It's fun. It's certainly unique. Uh, you know, it certainly does give you a unique method for battling. Uh, and I think that's about all there is to say. Uh, so f with that, I'm going to save here. And I will see you all next time. There's not a heck of a lot left to do, but there's still a few more things that need to be done before I can end this series. Anyway, I'm going to save things off here, and I will see you all next time.